Hello all. Now, let us see the concept of a mechanical equilibrium. If we apply an external net force on the system, then it attempts to change the state of the object. Attempts means it may or may not, two possibilities are there. Suppose if we imagine that the applied force is sufficient to change the state, then either it leads for a translatory motion or it may leads for a translatory together with a rotatory motion that depending on the force where we are applying. If we apply our force exactly at the center of mass of the system, then it has translatory only and other than center of mass position is given means uh, it has both a translatory and as well as rotatory, both are given here. And the concept is uh, then uh, here how to find equilibrium when multiple forces are acting on it. This is very very important thing. In this particular case, uh, what we studied is nothing but the nature of the force only we just explored here. What is the nature of the force? Either leads for translatory motion or it leads for translatory together with rotatory motion. That is a concept what we have. Now the question is nothing but then here how to find the equilibrium when multiple forces are acting on it. So in the given previous case there exists some force which leads for change of state as a result they will be in the translatory motion or they may be in the translatory together with the rotatory motion. Now whenever an equilibrium is there means uh, even though we apply the force on the system should not translatory and should not either translate or rotatory. That means what? That means uh, let the vector sum of force, uh, why I taken here vector sum? Because force is nothing but a vector quantity. Therefore, if the vector sum is zero to get a translatory equilibrium, that means if the F bar is equal to zero, sigma F bar is equal to zero, then we said that the system is in equilibrium condition. Now, in the second case, if the vector sum of the forces and the torques both are equal to zero, then the system will be in what condition? Enough? Translatory along with uh, rotational equilibrium we can consider. That means uh, in this particular case, the system should not rotate and should not uh, translate. Means what should not rotate means the total torque acting on system should be zero and the total force acting on system is zero. And if the total force acting on the system is zero, purely the system is okay free from translatory motion. If both conditions are satisfied, means uh, it is free from translation and as well as rotation. That is the meaning what we have to consider here. Now, these are the important things. Under static equilibrium, wow, look at here, static equilibrium. Under static equilibrium, if the total forces are zero, such a way that object should, should not move, means object should be at rest condition. Under this condition, the forces along x components, y components and z components, some should be zero, means positive x forces must be is equal to negative x forces and uh, positive y forces must be is equal to negative y forces and here also the same passion will be happens. Now let us see one example problem so that we can understand. Suppose this is the rigid support and uh, these are the two wires and this is something like a metal rod. Now this particular metal rod neither rotating nor moving means uh, total torque acting on the system about the center of mass is zero and the net force in this case so center of mass here the center of mass of the rod mg acts in downward direction first wire contains a tension oh, a second wire two divides are there therefore ta and tb both are acting in upward direction that means uh, summation of tensions in upward direction must be is equal to mg now in the given case uh, from here to here let the distance is nothing but what xa from here to here distance is nothing but what xb now in this case what is happening the perpendicular distance into force causes for torque so therefore this is this particular torque will try to produce what type of clockwise effect and this torque will try to produce anti clockwise effect 
So therefore, in this particular case, we can write down as a <coughs> summation of clockwise and anti-clockwise torques in the given plane of observation going to be same. That means uh, Xa into Ta must be is equal to Xb into Tb. It's another condition. So by using these two conditions, one can solve the tension here and here if we know perfectly the values of Xa and Xb. The best example for this one is nothing but simple balance also will come under the same case. Next, under dynamic equilibrium, the first one is called static equilibrium and their conditions. Dynamic equilibrium. Dynamic equilibrium means uh, object uh, should move in uniform motion such a way the total forces acting on the system is zero. That means net forces are zero but still object is moving. That is called dynamic equilibrium. However, in the examination corner, we would like to use either this one or this one. Okay. If the two forces are in equilibrium means F1 bar plus F2 bar is equal to zero. If three forces are in equilibrium means F1 bar plus F2 bar plus F3 bar is equal to zero. Okay. This will come under Lamy's theorem in vectors. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for further updates. Jai Hind.